Okay, sorry, sorry. Can I, 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 I can buy some stuff. Holy cow, I can buy a lot of stuff. Starts with very high HP. That seems like that could be relevant for me. Can I unlock this for 1300 runes? There we go. Okay, and then we have a shotgun. We have a crossbow. We have a flame cannon. I mean, let's just start simple, man. I know we got a lot of runes, but let's try a new character, new gun. There's a lot of iteration going out here. Okay, this is Maggie. Casino, wealth simple. It's like Shotgun King, two shots and you're done. Don't stop till you're numb. Okay, let me tell you, reload speed. That's what I'm looking for. Projectiles better, rapid fire. I mean, okay, fire rate better also seems like this could go insane. Like, look, look at the speed that we can pump damage out here. Weren't you bad at Shotgun King? I was horrible for a little bit, and then I went fucking Super Saiyan mode, and I'm probably just about the only person on Earth who's ever beaten that game on hard. Don't even talk to me about very hard. I don't even know if that's possible. Max ammo plus one. That sounds fantastic for us. To be able to shoot the shotgun three times. Oh, man. I've beaten it on hard. Can confirm it was difficult. That game was is well, it still is no joke. They should turn it into a BR, man. That's my new line. I'm my new character, guy who thinks everything should be a BR. The character is just me, but slightly exaggerated. Big whoop. Bullet damage and knockback. Dude, I'm telling you, damage is the best upgrade in the game. At least early. Look at what we're able to output here. We were this close to greatness. They should put NFTs in it. Dude! Honestly, imagine though if they did. Because I would probably have the world's first NFT for beating the game on hard. That shit would be worth like probably like a hundred million dollars. Just something to think about. You don't have to do it or whatever. Did you see the... I, I don't want to be this guy. I, just, I know there's a lot of people out there. They retweet all the... Crypto bros taking L stuff. I'm not that guy. I genuinely. But did you see the LinkedIn post where the guy was like, here's a snapshot of your future. You log into Candy Crush and grind for 30 minutes to earn enough energy to put in your car, to drive in Gran Turismo. You win a race that gives you light currency that you can use to power your spaceship. Meanwhile, you know, it's, oh my God. Now I got to... Uh, it, it, can we just keep games where they are right now where I just have to pay money to enjoy myself? I don't want to have to play Candy Crush to fly my spaceship in Starbound or something like that. That's too much. Dude, what about a shotgun? Wait, do maybe we want more spread. Maybe we want a double shot shotgun with more spread, less damage. I think it literally just added one more pellet to my shotgun. That does not seem that good, actually, but... Too bad, old man. The world's a-changing. I swear to God, if I, I... I've already got the meat-verse figured out, okay? I got no commute. My bathroom's, like, you know, less than 10 feet away. If the metaverse becomes a real thing, and then I gotta commute digitally to get to my virtual office, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. I'm gonna lose it. Bullet bounce? Rubber bull- hold on. Rubber bullets? Shooting when standing still has a 33% chance of not consuming ammo? I mean, I give me some bouncing bullets. I just want to see how it looks. This shit be kind of bouncing, but our range is horrendous. So the bounce is essentially useless. Good to know. Good to, maybe there's range upgrades. Wow, NL's changed. You guys are right, NL changed. Asking for range upgrades in a roguelite. <laughs> 
No. Shooting when standing still has a 33% chance of not using ammo. Or fan fire. When shooting your last ammo, shoot 10 additional bullets in a circle around you for 15 damage, and then they'll probably bounce as well. And double base projectiles eventually with Fusilot? Yeah, we gotta give it a shot. Range is still absolutely horrible. But you know what? It's it's something to look forward to. Like that Spoon song. Something to look forward to. Like I always look forward to that song coming up on the album. Your fan bullets deal one damage? Yeah, but then in theory the shots bounce. You wait until I replace the shotgun with a laser beam with infinite range and it's over for you. This is exactly what we wanted to see. Bullet damage is going to be like zero, but... The spread and the extra projectiles is going to be incre incredible. Look at it, dude. This is kind of insane. This game's got good synergies. Does your baby like dad rock yet? No, she still she listens to. Uh, she got really mad at me actually when we were driving back from. Uh, hold on. You know what? Give me give me some magnetism, man. I need the magnetism. She got really mad at me when we were driving back from the U.S. Because uh, Hot Potato by The Wiggles came on. And I was like, oh, I don't like this song. So I hit the next song button. And then she started to cry. And then Kate was like, put that back on. She loves that song. And I was like, okay. Hot Potato, Hot Potato. <laughs> hot Potato, Hot Potato. Mash Banana, Mash Banana. So, I, I mean, I'm a good dad. I put it back on. I can listen to the broken social scene whenever I want. She can only listen to Hot Potato, I don't know, 23 and a half hours a day. When Diamond's HP is at, be at or below half of max HP, increase piercing plus two and knockback plus 25. Sure, why not? Why not? Bullet damage and size, way better. What does this have? What happens here? Enemies explode into bullets. Bullet damage better and piercing bullets additionally pierce killed enemies. You got to. You got to. It, it, it's that simple. You absolutely have to. Because if we get bullets pierce killed enemies, I think it could actually enhance our range. Well, maybe that's foolhardy, but I'm hopeful. Still doing one damage with our fan fire, but that's okay. Or is it? I don't know. We'll see when we kill the second boss. We get to access the tome. I wanted this. Shoot an additional bullet behind you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot an additional bullet behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Now we're clearing space behind us as well. It's mom's eye. Yeah, but good, maybe. Or maybe it just feels good because it's the first time I've ever had it. Or maybe it's actually good because in this game, there's always an enemy, uh, like, at every position around you. So you're very likely to actually hit with it. Whereas in Isaac, you, you know, locomote in such a way to cluster all enemies on one side of the screen. So mom's eye has no use. Just my two cents. Just my two cents. Look, we're not, we're not an Isaac hater. We're an Isaac lover. Quick hands. Better reload and fire rate. I mean, that seems fantastic. I'm glad that people saw the dragon hatch. I'm not saying that the dragon's gonna be horrible, but like, it definitely, it, it did not do what I expected, which was that it was gonna pop out of the egg and immediately be like, you know, when Thor uh, landed at Wakanda after he got uh, the Bifrost to be a part of uh, Stormbringer and he just like wiped the battlefield. That's, that's definitely what I expected to happen, but it did not happen that way. I'm in trouble. Man, HP's kind of sick, huh? That's the sound of an ambulance coming to take me away because the sight of you stole my heart. Pyro Mage. Super bullets. Bullets pierce additional enemies. This is the this is it. This is it. 
This is exactly what we wanted. We, we got a damn pressure washer. You see how quickly we cleared out the rest of the screen? There were enemies everywhere like two seconds ago. Now there are enemies almost everywhere. <laughs> Look at this XP, though. Look at this XP. Let's see. Now we got a new path. Pickup range, vision range. I mean, honestly, I think it would be very nice for me personally to just have some extra move speed right now. I would also like the pickup range, but but move speed, I think it gives me something. I, I got a bit of a gap closer. I knew that was coming. I did it to myself. I knew it was coming, and I did it to myself. Boss is dead. This is important. Bullet damage less, elemental effects don't care. Bullets bounce more and deal less damage. Summons do more damage, reload rate is bad. So we could choose to take nothing, but that's not the way I live my life. I will take more bullet bounces and less damage. This is a super leave situation. This is horrible. Leave, leave, this is all trash. All bad, all bad, all bad, all... B okay, fine. You're right, it just hurts me to leave, you know, it's like, even if you don't like licorice, if someone's like, hey, here's a free pack of Twizzlers, you might as well just say yes and like eat them all, right? Like it's free. You don't want to feel that loss aversion. Death rounds. Max HP minus one, your bullets deal an additional 10 damage. This armed and ready also seems amazing, but yeah, we can afford to take some death bullets, I suppose. I suppose if you're gonna if you're gonna force my hand, I'll take death bullets. You see that dodge? You see that dodge? Now I think we want more ammo. Maybe pickup range. More ammo is a big like more ammo in our clip is huge. Or reload speed. Pickup range is better. Pickups could refill your ammo. I mean, that kind of seems what I'm looking for. Seems like what I'm looking for. We don't really need lighting. Holy shield also seems great. Don't get me wrong. But we got HP. So let's, let's leverage that HP. We're actually able to kill the, like, mid-game units. That's new to me. So this is when we're peaking. Because we're going to have this experience pickup range. Higher than it's ever been on this run before. Destroy the enemies with our DPS. Farm up as many levels as possible. And then in the late game, take a holy shield, take some HP. Maybe we live. Enemies explode into three bullets when killed. Vision, I don't think we need glare. That's like a late garlic. We don't need it. Give me enemies explode into three bullets when killed. I'm not turning to the dragon egg, okay? Now, the only thing I'm worried about right now is that it seems like maybe we're good at dealing with crowds, but not so great at dealing with bosses. But bosses are also accompanied by crowds. So maybe the crowd control is, is an acceptable uh, way to spec your run out. Seems sensible to me. Pick up range plus 20%. After picking up XP, gain 35% fire rate for one second. Or walk speed plus 100. <laughs> I mean, that seems pretty good. What's what's this? Increase bullet damage and move speed by 10% every 10 seconds. I mean, that also seems really good. But I also think with this... We're just going to be able to shoot... Like, this is basically a flat 20 or 35% fire rate improvement. Because we're never going to be more than one second away from having picked up some experience, probably. Alright. Who would have thought such a, such a quaint run could have turned into this? Now I would like walk speed. This is like the first one I'm not happy with. But you know what? Let, let me get Holy Shield. I think Holy Shield at least is better than 
HP. Because we can use it's an HP we can use every two minutes. Are you hearing the XP tick up? <laughs> oh my god. This is a, okay, there's a lot here. Shooting while standing still might may not consume ammo. Increase reload rate and move speed by 25% while Holy Shield is active. But max ammo plus two is it seems insane to me. That's almost like doubling the size of our, our clip. Plus it's plus two, you're not wrong. Oh my god, we're getting levels so fast. Our economy is out of control. Reload rate plus 5%. I think chat's right, honestly. I, I think Frost actually makes a lot of sense. Because we have so many bullets firing that, like... It's basically... I mean, you can see it for yourself. It's like an 80% chance of, of an enemy being frosted right now. This is insane. Blazing speed, magic lens, electromage, dragon egg, dragon egg, divine wrath. I mean, I think this is all pretty bad right now. Oh no, this just, divine wrath is a holy shield synergy. But that seems, wait, well, let's see where it goes from here. If you click on divine wrath, hold on. Holy shield now regenerates in one minute. Okay, that seems like that might be worth getting. So we, we get a little lightning with while Holy Shield is active, but then doubling the rate at which Holy Shield regenerates, sure. Or having the rate, I suppose. Having the time. Plus we're getting a, like a level every 15 seconds anyway, so like right now this seems acceptable. Reload rate five plus five percent, increase bullet damage by 30% for one second after reloading. Increase reload rate 5% for every enemy killed. Look, okay, fresh clip also seems amazing. I think I gotta try kill clip. Because we, for every clip, we might actually kill like 20 enemies. And reload in like half a second. We're gonna get both probably. It's all good. Like... Everything's going like gangbusters right now. We do, maybe it's a suboptimal choice, but you know it's pretty close to the optimal. And then we get fresh clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So I am. I'm still concerned about a boss, but I'm not that concerned about the hordes of enemies anymore. We've created quite a nice space around us. Okay, oh, it's these guys. And let's be honest, these guys were a bit of a problem for us last time, but... Shooting while standing still may not consume ammo. What happens at the end of the Ice Shard tier? Enemies affected by freeze explode when killed and deal damage to nearby enemies equal to 25% of their max HP. Okay, getting to that seems valuable because as these enemies get more HP, being able to keep our our ability to kill enemies quickly going is important because it'll make fresh clip that much better too. So that's we need that as like a, the faster we can get that, the, the happier we're gonna be. Look, do you see how quickly we mastered the strategy? We figured it out. Now we have 10 minutes left and that's kind of scary for me because it means we've only seen maybe like half the level of difficulty. XP gain much slower right now, which is why I, I really think we need that, uh... We need that, like, corpse explosion as soon as possible. What happens in nine minutes? Well, in Vampire Survivors, Dracula shows up and eats your ass. So I'm kind of hoping that in this game, maybe there'll be some relief. Although, I guess, you know, I, I can't say that that's not relief. It's really, that's a, a personal decision, I suppose. I need XP, please. 
It's not Dracula and Vampire Survivors. I didn't watch the intro cutscene from Hideo Kojima, okay? So I don't know. It's coughing! Okay, get faded. Why would Dracula eat your ass? Well, why does it always have to be about blood, you know? People be like, Dracula eats blood. He would never eat your ass. Yeah, well, whatever. You eat chicken tenders, you eat ass. There's no chicken tenders in your ass. So explain yourself. You don't have coherent reasoning. Get killed. Get killed. Get killed. The DPS is insane. The dodging is even more insane. I can't believe he's not dead. Maybe Dracula just wanted to. You ever consider that? Help me. I should not be glancing. There's a this this game is it puts a lot of stress on your neurological system, man. We're out. Just let me get that level 26. We we were getting like a level a second earlier. Let me get that level 26. Let me out. How is this dude not dead? Did you see the number of... I put the entire freaking factories of ammunition into him. Give me the level. Give me the level and then enemies that, that die when they're frozen do 25% damage to the enemies around them. When enemies inflicted with freeze, they lose 25% of their max HP. Boss enemies lose... That's, that's not what I was looking for, but that's still really good, I think. That's still really good. Okay. <laughs> the chest is now up there? All right, all right, all right. You're absolutely right. It is. That was actually an enormous upgrade as well. Increase fire rate and reload rate by 10% permanently every time you get hit. I'm afraid that won't be necessary, but... If, if I thought I could leverage my HP to do something with that... Then I would. I think we're back. We're back in Farm Simulator 2022 after that upgrade. 25% extra, uh, like, HP removal every time we inflict freeze. Then frozen enemies deal 25% of their max HP on death when they explode. I'm begging you. As soon as we get that, the screen is going to get a lot less crowded. Please. Please. There we go. Anything with ice on it? Any what? Reload rate plus 100%. Bullet damage plus 50%. Max ammo minus 666. So it's like we shoot... Zero? I feel like this would take us to zero ammo. It might take us to one... If it takes us to zero, I I think this is doesn't make sense. I don't understand. I don't think I could take it. I, I wish I could. I don't think I can. I wish I could. I wish I could. Give me increased pickup range, man. I wanna I wanna keep leveling as fast as possible. No balls. I mean, it says max ammo minus six six six. So as far as I'm concerned. I think, like, my my clip size was about to go to, like, negative 661. And I don't think I can do any damage with negative 661 shots, okay? I think I need at least one shot in my gun to make it work. It's an unsigned integer? Wait a minute. Wouldn't I have 600 bullets then? That seems like that would be advantageous. I forget. What? Signed is positive, negative. Unsigned is only positive. It's been a bit. You're not giving me the upgrade I need. Okay? You're not giving me the upgrade I need. Oh, you'd have like 2 billion. That's true. I'm going to be honest. I know it seems like run and gun makes a lot of sense because you get plus... Well, wait. Does it, what does this lead to? 
Increase bullet damage, but yes, okay, never mind. We're gonna take run and gun. I was gonna say we don't need the walk speed because we're not moving anywhere, but I don't think that's true. I, I, especially given the upgrade that it gives us access to in the future. Oh, son of a bitch. Here we go again. Here we go again. That's gonna be an issue. It's wheezing. Okay. Thing is, we gotta simplify the screen a little bit. Anything that shoots a bullet must be killed as soon as possible to maximize my effective dodge range. I mean, every time we freeze a boss... There goes my, my shield, unfortunately, but that's okay. Every time you freeze a boss, it loses 1% of his max HP. It's actually kind of insanely great, I think. I think I'm thrilled to have that. Because apparently 1% of their HP is like kind of a lot right now. He's dead! There's another one! Immediately! <laughs> uh, okay. We don't need elemental support. Fire rate is better. Spread is better. Bullet damage is much worse, but you triple your base max ammo. Bullet damage is better. Bullet size is better. It pierces more. Your fire rate is worse. And your HP is worse. I mean, we gotta do this for sure. Don't give this boss a chance, man. Frozen... Okay. Bullet damage plus... This is just all good. Bullet damage is better. Fire rate's better. Reload's better. Extra piercing. Extra max ammo. Yes. I mean, that's the given. And then just don't even give him a chance to live, man. Fade him as soon as possible. Let's go. What do you got for me? Increase bullet size and bullet damage by 15% permanently every time you heal. Okay. Yet another useless upgrade for me! I just need frozen enemies... Deal 25% of their max health to all enemies in an AoE around them when they die. How do you heal? There's some upgrades that allow you to heal on like a percentage basis. Holy, holy shit, it's shatter. It's finally happened. It's over for you. Oh, dude, are you seeing this? I knew it would do this for it. They're just getting erased. Bullet speed is better. Spread is worse. I don't like any of this. Um, at all. But, hey, let's take blazing speed because we have better move speed. And it seems like the burn does more damage the faster we move. It, I guess it really doesn't matter. Bullet speed is your range. Okay, it turns out it matters a lot. We should take bullet speed. Two minutes remain. I'm not gonna take a dragon egg on three minutes. I mean, that's just madness. <laughs> All of these are bad. I mean, I honestly, I would rather have vitality. Just in case, like, the last two minutes of the game go sicko mode. It seems... Oh, and does it give us the buff as well? Like, does that count as a heal? We're getting levels so fast. Holy cow. I also... My reload time is like zero seconds. Anger point. Increase bullet damage and fire rate by plus 50 when you get hit. That doesn't seem relevant to me right now. Heal 1 HP every 90 seconds. Too late to be useful. Let's, let's get Divine Blessing. Because our Holy Shield is active. Should just make us that much scarier to deal with. I 
I love it. There's nothing more stressful in these games than when you slowly get overwhelmed, but there's nothing more satisfying than uh, when you're just dominating. I can't stand still, but it's not because enemies will hit me. It's because if I stand still, all the enemies around me die so fast, I can't keep my, like, my chain bonuses going any longer. I have to constantly move, even though, like, Siege, it would be nice to not have to constantly move. Okay, these guys dying quickly is insane. I can't, I can't. But I can definitely increase uh, damage and move speed by 10%. Character size plus 50%. Lol. I can definitely increase um, all of my stats that matter by 10%. Every 10 seconds we don't get hit. Yawn, yawn. Dude, I, if it said w reduces max clip size to 1, it would be thematically less interesting, and yet I would take it. It says minus 666. I'm not willing to take the chance on that on my... On my first possible, probable victory? Absolutely not. Stop it! Projectiles plus two, fire rate plus 25%, but lower move speed. Our move speed is so uh, high as is. This is a gimme as far as I'm concerned. This is apt cowardice. I do want better bullet speed, but I, I refuse to reduce my spread. Like, we've turned the, sh the spread of the shotgun from a, a potential weakness into a guaranteed strength. 40 seconds remain. I mean, this is... We're just clearing them out. It shouldn't matter. I'm gonna take magic lens. I'm not taking the mini clip, okay? No, I got hit! Deserved. Well, don't get too concerned. I only lost my shield. I haven't even touched my 4 HP remaining yet. We're gonna make it. Unless we have to kill a boss at the end, we're definitely gonna make it. I'd just like to level one more time first. Okay, fine. You know what? There's four seconds left. Okay, there you go. Minimum size of one. You survived! <laughs> Holy cow. Well, that was a good run. Um, let's quit to the menu real quick. We earned 14,000 runes. I'm going to throw in one slash marker there.